A new day is breaking over Tanzania, along with one of the most ambitious engineering projects in the world. Today, we are traveling about 280 kilometers from Dar es Salaam to Rufiji to witness history, the Julius Nyerere hydropower plant. This 3.6 billion US dollars mega project is transforming lives, powering industries, and driving the nation forward. Hello, welcome. I'm Charles Combe. Welcome to my channel. Now, you might notice something different. I've switched from Swahili to English to share Tanzania stories and beyond with the world. Now, to my Swahili family, don't worry. I know you understand both. So, I know exactly that you support me and we'll grow together. To my global family, welcome. Karibu, this is just the start. Today, we are hitting the road to witness history, the Julius Nyerere hydropower plant. This project is already powering Tanzania with 2,115 megawatts of clean energy. Buckle up, we are driving through villages, wild savannas, and incredible engineering wonders. Let's go. We are cruising Tanzania's backbone, Morogoro Road, but soon we'll take a shortcut at Kiluvia to Kisarawe. While traveling on road in Dar es Salaam, I noticed how beautiful and well-developed some of our roads have become. It made me wonder, do people in Western countries know how much progress we have made, or are they still being told that Africa is poor and people live in caves? The streets never sleep here in Dar es Salaam. Everywhere you go, you'll find people hustling and working hard. Now we are taking a shortcut to Kisarawe, a district in the Pwani region, where we'll catch a road that leads directly to the Julius Nyerere hydropower plant. Look at the beautiful villages of Kisarawe district. Then we arrived at Julius Nyerere National Park, one of the largest national parks in Africa. It was once part of the famous Selous Game Reserve. The park is named in honor of the nation's founding father, the late Mwalim Julius Nyerere. Well guys, we are in Julius Nyerere National Park, home to elephants, zebras, lions and many other wild animals and just ahead 
the dam powers Tanzania without harming this paradise. It will take us about two hours to reach the project site. But the good news is, even though the road is rough and the speed limit is 50, we are passing through a wildlife area, so we won't get bored. Along the way, we'll see plenty of animals and birds. There's no doubt that Tanzania proves development and nature can coexist. We arrived late at the project site and went to sleep, excited to explore this amazing project the next day. The great news is that there is an important visitor at the project, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Energy, Honorable Dr. Doto Biteko, the man behind the success of the Ministry of Energy in Tanzania. I'll be joining him and his team to visit and explore this incredible engineering wonder. Here it is, the Julius Nyerere Hydro Power Plant. And this is the main dam. This main dam has a height of 190 meters, which is 42 meters taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza when comparing their heads above sea level. This project was a dream of Tanzania's founding father, the late Mwalim Julius Nyerere. But it wasn't fully realized under previous governments until the fifth administration under the late president Johnny Magufuli. Construction actually began in 2019 with the Arab contractors and Elswed Electric, both from Egypt, as the main construction companies. However, after the sudden death of President Johnny Magufuli in March 2021, the project was 33% complete. Following his passing, the country's first female president, Honorable Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, took office. There were rumors that the project wouldn't succeed, but she proved them wrong with outstanding leadership and dedication to this project and Tanzania's energy independence. Tumekuja leo tukiwa nye furaha kubwa kwamba sasa mitambo yote tisa imekamilika, inazalisha umeme, na nafrai kuwajulisha wa Tanzania kuwa ile ndoto ya kuwa na umeme kutoka kwenye chanzo iki kikubwa hapa Afrika, yani kwenye bonde la mto huru Fiji, Look at its reservoir. It has the capacity to store 32 billion cubic meters of water, with a width of about 27 kilometers and a length of 100 kilometers. Let me quickly take you through how electricity is generated from this project. First, water from the main dam flows through special tunnels known as power waterways which lead directly to the turbines at the powerhouse. There are nine turbines, each with the capacity to generate 235 megawatts of electricity. Once the electricity is generated, it's transmitted to the 27 transformers located in the powerhouse building, and from there, it's sent to the switchyard. 
the switchyard receives electricity from the powerhouse and transmits it to Chalinze, where a substation steps it down before integrating it into the national grid. Well, behind me is the powerhouse uh, where nine turbines uh, have been installed uh, with the capacity of 2,115 megawatts of electricity. This is inside the powerhouse, and as you can see, there are nine turbines installed here, all contributing to a total of 2,115 megawatts of electricity to the national grid. This project has key sections, including the powerhouse, the main dam, which we visited first, the switchyard, which receives and transmits electricity, the power waterways, through which water flows to run the turbines, in the saddle dams. The saddle dams are used to prevent water from escaping the main dam in areas with valleys. Another key section is the operation village, which houses offices, worker residences, and other facilities used by the project staff. Just look how beautiful this place is. Amazing. The completion of this project proves the bold leadership and dedication of Tanzania's president, Honorable Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, towards national development. It is clear that investors from all over the world will be encouraged to invest in Tanzania, assured that there's reliable electricity for their operations. After we finished our tour, we drove back to Dar es Salaam. But on our way through Nyerere National Park, I had mixed feelings experiencing this mega project come to life, powering Tanzania. I know for sure this dam isn't just concrete, it's a symbol of unity. As Mwalim Nyerere, the founding father of Tanzania, said, Our strength is in our people. Today, Tanzania powers its future, and the world is watching.